if I am in Kulunga Alta and I hear where it says expose your front leg so that he'll want to throw a reverso at it. Boom. You see? And he can step without the foot. So from this position where I'm all covered up, not only do I move my cape out of the way, but I bring my sword over to my my right side, but also high. If I go down here, it's likely to cut my upper body, attack my upper body. So to expose the leg, I expose the leg, he throws I bring my foot back. Now, he called this is a swap of the feet. This is generally what this is called. So expose the front leg, swap the feet, bring this one back and bring that one forward, thrusting to the chest to put the reverse between his sword and his cape. There's a little bit more, but first things first. Expose the leg so let's cut at it. Swap that one for this one, thrusting, palm up to the chest, between the sword and cape. From here, expose the leg. Move that back, move that forward. And I want to be the first to attack. When I see him expose the leg like that, I can just go here quickly for that leg with a reverso, I just turn my palm down, cut across. If he avoids that and comes at me with that thrust, now that's a palm up, punta reverso. Now what follows here, I think is based on the fact that what might happen here is I could have easily hit that with my cape hand. And I think that's the reason why we have what comes next. So if I'm, the eight, uh, if I'm the patient here and uh, expose that leg, trying to get him to cut at me, and I withdraw that and then send the other foot forward, but he hits that, I will strike his leg with a reverso, not past Kodal Estrella. And this, you see the turn, the turn of the body here, that's why my hips are that way. Then I do a thrust beneath my cape, passing back with my right foot, and pass my left foot back as well into Kodal Estrella. And then that's a bolt to port to fair strata. Be careful of that, but we are talking about something that's very quick. When I withdraw my front foot, it's a special way. I pull it back next to the other one, but see how I'm going to stand here with my knees bent and my heels raised? That's so I can step back in really fast. So when I pull that back, that leg, that's why I'm able to get in in an instant. Expose the leg, withdraw, swap the feet. This one goes here, that one goes here. If he hits it, I have to be prepared to strike the reverso, thrust right away to the face, passing back. Pass back again, mix it over. And there's the entire play. I'll show it again. When you have plays like this, and Morosa says, expose such and such body parts so that they want to strike at it. What would it take to get you to hit at it? Ask yourself that. As I'm standing here trying to think, well, I, kind of, I want him to get a hit, want him to hit at it, what would it take to convince me to, you know? How far, how exposed, how open, how, what do I have to do to get that to happen? So, in a lot of, not just a little bit, you know, it's like, okay, hit him my leg. You're like, no, right? I mean, there's, there's ways I could do that. Okay, hit him my leg. No. So what would it take? This goes over here. My point goes away and maybe, you know, non-threateningly put my weight a little more on the front foot. There. What would it take? If they don't go for it, then they don't. It's a bait. It's a tactic. Expose the leg. Swap. Here. Strike. Thrust. Go back. Again, that's the volta, and wait for the next play. 